Hi there, and welcome to this short video looking at the different chart types in more detail. You might have noticed already there's actually quite a few different charting types to choose from, from line charts to candlestick charts, high, low, open, close, and even spread charts out there. So what I'm going to do is give you a bit of a brief overview of what each one of these different charting types does and which one I actually prefer to utilize myself. OK, so what we've got right here is an example of the US 30 to get ourselves started. And this is a normal line chart. As default on every single chart that you load up, it's going to be a five minute line chart. Now, what a line chart actually plots is two closing points in the line drawn between the two points. It's as simple as that. And quite simply, because we've got a five minute line chart right now, it puts a plot every five minutes and draws a line between the two closing prices. It really is as simple as that. Now, usually you get a, a lot of customers out there that decide to look at slightly longer time frames to get a bit of a better view of how that product's performing. So if I go ahead and change the interval from here from five minutes to say a slightly longer length, you notice there we've got everything from 30 seconds, five minutes, 30 minutes, all the way up to one week. But I'm just gonna go ahead and select one day. And what that does, it gives me, gives me a bit of a longer term view of the uh, product's closing prices over the last, say, seven months or so. So you might notice as well that there's a whole host of different line charts to choose there. We've got line buy, which is simply plotting all the buy prices. We've got line mid, which is simply the mid price. So between the bid and the offer or the sell and the buy price, it takes a price from right in the middle there. And we've also got the line sell as well, which should be quite obvious. It takes a selling point, a selling price, puts all the points in there and joins it all together. Now, a line chart just contains just those two pieces of information, the two closing points and a line drawn between the middle. However, the candlestick charts, which we're going to be looking at next, contains a little bit more exciting information. It gives you four pieces of information. It gives you the high, the low, the open and the close. So right there, you're getting a lot more information at your fingertips and it allows you to more accurately identify potential support and resistance levels. They're called candlesticks because they've got this um, slight body uh, in, the, uh, in the actual chart itself, which will either be colored uh, red, uh, red or green. If it's green, it means it's gone up in value since the peri previous period. If it's red, it means it's gone down in value since the previous period. And if we just go ahead and pick one of these candles, I mean, might as well just pick this one right here. Um, well, it's green, the opening price is at the bottom and the closing price is at the top. And then you've got these little wicks at the top and these little wicks at the bottom they are actually representing the highest and the lowest levels, and the body represents the opening and the closing price. If we then move on to the next candle, you can see this one is red. That's because it's gone down in value since the previous period. If it's red, it means that the opening price is at the top and the closing price is at the bottom. Once again, we've got these little wicks at the top and the little wicks at the bottom that represent the highest and the lowest levels, and it keeps on moving on. So let's move on to the next one. Once again, we've got your opening price at the top, closing price at the bottom, highest and lowest levels. And because this is currently a daily candlestick, it's actually encompassing the entire range of all the price points over that time. So then if we move on to the next one, you can see there that we've had a little bit of a green candle with not a lot of information on there. So it gives you a bit of an idea of um, the kind of volatility of a particular product, how much the price has gone up or down, and it really allows you to identify the support and resistance levels by utilizing the wicks that are a little bit clearer. On a normal line chart, you would never be able to identify what the relative lows or the highs were of a, of a particular time period. But with candlesticks, it's very, very easy. Now, the good news is we've actually got another uh, charting type, which is very, very similar, called uh, open, high, lower, close, or American bar charts. Now, American bar charts are very, very popular. They convey, they convey the same information as the Japanese candlesticks. You've got, apart from the fact that you don't have this full uh, colored in body as you do with the candles. I personally prefer the Japanese candlesticks. I think they're slightly easier to get to grips with and they give you a bit of a, a faster, clearer picture of the particular uh, volatility. But what you can see there, they represent the same things. You've got green and red uh, bars. Green is positive, red is negative, and you've got these little ticks at the left-hand side and the ticks at the right. And basically, they're just telling you what the uh, opening and the closing price is, and then you've still got these little wicks at the top and these little wicks at the bottom that represent the highest and the lowest levels. The final charting type is called a spread chart. And what a spread chart represents is uh, you've got two line charts, one representing the selling price and one represent the buying price. And if we just pick a slightly shorter time frame, uh, such as one minute, you'll be able to see the uh, spread charts in more detail. And as you can see there, you've got your uh, sell line chart there and your buy line chart at the very, very top. And you've got this grayed out area there, which is um, the, the actual spread itself. With something like the US 30, the spread is an actual fixed value. So it should be quite consistent throughout that point. Why are spread charts important? Well, during major news announcements and data releases, typically spreads can widen quite a lot during those times as there's a lot of volatility in the market. And what it allows you to do is more accurately identify 
when um, trading gets that, it can potentially get that little bit more expensive. And with our pricing on there, things are very, very consistent. So as you can see there, the spread is very consistent throughout this whole period of time. Now, if you're trading equities and stocks, um, the actual underlying exchange, the spreads change all the time, and our uh, spread charts incorporate that into the price charts as well. Um, what you can do with the spread charts as well, you can go up to, up to, up to five years worth of chart data on there, it can be very, very useful. And it'll allow you to more accurately pinpoint when the products that you're trading, how, how consistent the actual spreads are, and when to be careful if there's major news announcements and those spreads can actually widen there. And we're so confident about the consistency of our prices that we publish them very, very nicely in a spread chart. And that gives you a bit of an idea of the different charting types to choose from. I personally prefer the Japanese candlesticks, but it's up to you guys at home to find the one that works best for you. Thank you very much for listening.